try to make this quick if I can because it's uh, like 90 something degrees outside and that's not the place for PLA. Uh, I wanted to talk about paint. Uh, last year I got paint from a couple different places. They're both Rust-Oleum Satin Protective Enamel White. Notice this one has a round cap. This one has a cap with the handholds where you pinch it to take the cap off easier. Um, I didn't notice until this year when I started painting things again that if I can get the angle right, if you can see the uh, sheen on that center ankle, it's on the glossy side of satin. Hopefully you can see this. It's hard on my camera. Um, this is a battery box. This is on the matte side of satin. Now, I'm not going to go repaint the things I painted last year. I'm not going to try and find more of the round top paint running around to different stores and repaint the things I've done this year. But hopefully that's showing on camera just to let you know that uh, unless it's my imagination or my technique has changed or the weather, I am getting a more glossy finish. I thought it's because I was putting on thicker coats this year, which again is my problem and I try not to do it. But I definitely see a glossier finish on the things I'm painting this year compared to the things that I have from last year. And it's not just because the ones from last year have been sitting and drying for an extra year. So hopefully right there, that'll get, you can see kind of the shine on both, on both of them, hopefully. So, I mean, R2 is going to be a mix of those two sheens, which hopefully isn't that big of a thing. Um, there is one thing that I could do to minimize it, and that's to go over everything with, um, say, 600 grit wet sandpaper. Take the, uh, the orange peel, the slight texture off, and that would get them, take some of the gloss off and make it more matte but then it'll be pretty much matte and not satin. Um, I've decided not to clear coat because I already screw up so much of the paint that doing clear coat just sounds to me like a recipe for disaster for me. But that would be one way if I really wanted to get them identical would be to say 600 grit um, to kind of matte them, matte the finish, and then do a satin clear coat on everything using the same type of satin clear. So something to watch out for. It's, I thought it was my imagination, but now I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure that this cap had a more satin finish, and this one is a bit more glossy. And I'm assuming this is newer because it's got the pinch to pull the top off, and the other one is just a plain round top. Um, it could be the other way around, I don't know. Um, this one is thinner. This one thicker, so this one uses more plastic, so maybe this is a newer one. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't uh, bought um, any more white paint this year yet. So something to watch out for.